Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from kibbyking 77com doing a video showing you how to install the MC3 leaked build on your Sprint Samsung Galaxy S3. This is Android 4.1.2 Jelly Bean and it includes the premium suite which includes multi-window, page buddy, uh, updated gallery and even more. I'll be doing a full review video showing these things off. I will link to that in the description of the video. But anyways, I want to show you guys how to install it. It's quite easy. Depending on your setup, you might have to wipe data into a factory reset. Uh, so it all depends. Um, so make sure you back everything up. Just regardless, I highly recommend having a backup. To give you an idea of what I'm on, I'm completely stock at the moment. I'm not rooted, and I am on MA6, which is the latest official build. Again, this is a leaked build, so... Not sure if this is going to be official yet or not, uh, but anyways, what you're going to need to do is click on the link in the description of the video. Clicking on the link is going to take you to this website right here. You'll see uh, MC3 leak right there for the Sprint S3 only. This is only for Sprint. Uh, shout out to everyone involved, 6 Tape, our Wilco 12, SF Hub, everyone. Um, everyone that's involved in getting this leak for us. Big shout out. You'll see Android 4.1.2. Anyways, uh, we're just going to need to download one specific file, and you will see right here there's a bunch of different download options, so let me explain those. Make sure you pay pretty close attention because it is kind of important. So you'll see there are two options. There's a restore version, and there's a no data version. The difference between these two versions is one of them wipes your data completely. The other one keeps your data. So, what I usually just recommend people doing is trying out the one that keeps your user data, and if you run into issues such as the phone not booting up, you can just go into stock recovery and then wipe your data eventually. So, like I said, you might have to wipe your data. I downloaded the, and you'll see there's two options, stock and rooted. So, you either get a stock option or a rooted option, depending on if you want to be rooted or not. I personally downloaded the rooted no data version, so I'm not going to wipe my data, and I'm also going to root the device on MC3. You, you did um, notice that I was on MA6, that latest official build. Hopefully, I can keep all my data and update to MC3 and uh, stay rooted. Again, if not... I might have to go into stock recovery and do a factory reset. If you're running a custom ROM, you might have to do a factory reset. If you're on an AOSP-based ROM, you're definitely most likely going to have to wipe your user data regardless, so you might just want to do that. But again, you can just try using the one that keeps your user data. If you run into issues, you're going to have to do a factory reset. So keep that in mind and have backups. Um, also, when you do the download, I just recommend downloading the EXE variant of the download as opposed to the TAR. So just find which one that you need and click on EXE and let it download. All right, so once downloaded, you'll see I have it downloaded right here, MC3 rooted, no data. What I recommend doing is go ahead and go to your desktop real quick, right click and uh, highlight new and hit folder. So create a new folder on your desktop and you can just call it something like MC3 so you know what it is. Um, once you have that on your desktop you can go back to your downloads folder and just double click on the specific file what it's going to do is it's a self extracting archive it's going to go ahead and do the automatic extraction for you so you don't have to do it so let it load on up if you're on windows 8 and this screen comes up just hit more info and hit run anyway you shouldn't run into that issue if you are on windows 7 anyways you'll see a self extracting archive come up just press this dot 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 and then navigate to your desktop and on your desktop find that mc3 folder we just made you'll see right there click on it and hit ok so now what it's going to do is extract all the files into that folder we just made hit extract and let it run through the extraction process this will take a little bit of time the file size is pretty large i'll be back once it's done and once done extracting all you have to do is go ahead and double click on that mc3 folder that we have just created and inside it you'll see another folder called odin oc you can double click on that and this is where the odin one click application will be so what you can do is right click on it and hit run as administrator and then just go ahead and allow it user account control when it asks just hit yes and now we are ready to go so here is the odin one click I do want to make a quick note that before you continue, make sure to install the drivers on your computer as necessary found at the same thread you downloaded that other file from. You'll see Samsung drivers right here. So download and install those if you have not done so already on your computer. 
All right, and once you have your Odin 1 click all ready to go, what you can do is grab your Sprint S3 and power off the device. So we're gonna need to fully shut it down because we need to put it into download mode or Odin mode. All right, once fully shut down, what we need to do is press and hold volume down, the home button and the power button all at the same time. Press and hold all three of them until you see the screen light up. It will take you to this warning screen. Go ahead and press volume up to continue, and then it will put us into download mode right here. So, once you are in this mode, you can just go ahead and grab your micro USB cable and plug your device into your PC. Once you plug it in, if drivers uh, are necessary and need to be installed, let them install. It might take a little bit of time to install those drivers, so be patient with it. Once it's all done and ready to go, you'll see a yellow box pop up and it'll say COM and then a number. It does not matter what the number is, but this just lets you know that Odin does recognize your device. So once you have that yellow box shown up, we're ready to go. All you have to do is just go ahead and press the start button and that would be it. So uh, let it run through. It will take a bit of time, so be patient with it. Uh, you will notice that uh, it's going to have a green progress bar in Odin and a blue progress bar on your device. All right, so as you can see, a green progress bar has shown up in Odin. I don't see a blue one on the device. Maybe one doesn't show up. I can't really remember. But anyways, it doesn't matter if the blue bar shows up in your phone or not. But let Odin run through. It's going to take a bit of time, so be patient with it. Make sure your computer doesn't sleep. Go into hibernation. Make sure your computer doesn't shut down. Make sure you do not unplug your device. If you're having troubles with Odin recognizing your device or the Odin failing, troubleshooting steps would be to try a different cable. That's the main step. You can try different USB ports as well. You can try reinstalling drivers. So those are the main steps if you are having issues with the Odin one click. So as I said, be patient with it. It's going to take a bit of time and I'm gonna let it run through and I'll be back once it is nearing completion. All right, so it looks like the Odin one click is just finishing up right now. Once it is done, it should automatically reboot your device. It should say pass and then uh, your device should reboot. As you can see, it said reset and pass, and our phone is rebooting, as I said. So that should be just about it. Our phone should reboot. Again, depending on your setup that you did have, you might have to do a factory reset and stock recovery. I'll show you how to do that. I'm not exactly sure why this is going into uh, stock recovery. That's what it's doing now. So we'll see exactly what that means. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and let this boot up, and I will be back. All right, so phone's booting up. I did want to make a note. You can unplug your device. You don't need it plugged in anymore once uh, Odin does say pass, so that's it. Again, if you are running a custom ROM, you might have to do a factory reset. If you're on a previous build, such as MA6 like I was, a touch was built, uh, then you might not have to. We will see. So a pretty good sign. Again, myself coming from TouchWiz MA6. It is, says it's upgrading, optimizing apps. It looks like it is booting up just fine. All right, so now fully booted up. It looks like it kept all my data. You'll see Chrome's there, ES File Explorer is there, so it did not get wiped, and it seems to be working just fine. Let's go ahead and go into Settings, scroll all the way down, go to About Device, and you will see Android 4.1.2, uh, build number MC3 at the end. The last three digits are MC3. Same with baseband version as well. So there you have it. You are now in the latest version, MC3. You now have multi-window, all that good stuff. Again, I'll do a full review video of it, so be sure to check that out. I'll link to it in the description of the video. Uh, for those of you that do need to know how to get into stock recovery, I will show you now. So let's say your phone gets in a factory reset, boot loop, anything like that. Um, all you have to do is just go ahead and power off your device. Obviously, you might have to pull the battery if you, your phone's not booting up, which is no big deal. So pull the battery, put it back in. Once it's uh, fully powered off, we can go ahead and get into that stock recovery. All right, so once fully powered off, go ahead and press and hold volume up, the home button, and power button all at the same time. Again, volume up, home button, power button, until the Samsung screen lights up. So let go once that Samsung screen lights up, like so. And then it will take us into stock recovery. Again, this is for only for those of you having issues with the phone booting up, etc. If you're stuck in a boot loop, as I said, you might have to do a factory reset. So here we go. Here is stock recovery to navigate. Use volume up and down to uh, navigate through it and the power button to select it. So first of all, I don't recommend going to wipe data factory reset right away. I actually recommend wiping your cache partition first. So wipe that and then do a reboot and see if your phone will boot back up. If after doing that uh, and it still doesn't boot up, go back into stock recovery and then do wipe data factory reset, press the power button to select it. Again, I don't need to do a factory reset because it's working fine, so I'm just going to hit reboot system now, and my phone's going to reboot back up. For, but again, for those of you with issues, you can just go ahead and do that. So that's it. Hopefully this video has helped you guys out. 
Uh, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to me as well. I'd really appreciate it. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.